This is Barbatos. Hi, it's Steve here and welcome back to Mock It Up, your place for reviews of mock and Lego compatible sets. In this video, we'll be looking at a mock designed by Ransom Fern of the hero robot called Barbatos from the Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans Japanese cartoon show. I've always had a soft spot for Japanese robot designs and it was from browsing Rubricable that I came across the building instructions for this Barbatos here. Almost all of the 900 pieces needed for this build are Lego compatible pieces that I ordered from WeBrick, with the remaining handful of pieces gotten from Brick Owl. I'm not a stranger to using Lego compatible pieces and definitely not a Lego snob, and this allowed me to build this Barbatos for about a quarter of the price. I'll go into that later, but now let's flip the camera and take a closer look at this Barbatos mock by Ransom Fern. Barbatos stands about 30 centimeters tall in this more neutral pose here, which I'm thinking is close to the 160th scale of Gundam plastic model kits. Its color scheme is very reminiscent of the original RX-78-2 Gundam as they both share white for their armor, yellow for their chest vents, blue on their upper torso with a dash of red on the chin, and lower feet. Black and grey colours are used here for the robot's frame underneath its white armour. Like its namesake, Barbatos has a somewhat demonic or animalistic appearance with its claw-like fingers and toes, exposed midriff, and prominent head crests that look like horns. Ransom Fern has done a stellar job with capturing the look of Barbatos and we'll next check out its articulation. Starting with its large feet and the slight lateral movement at the ankle definitely helps with keeping things upright. The exaggerated shin armor is perhaps used to counterbalance the backpack on the upper body. The knees have solid ratchet joints, but because of the armor placements on the backs of the knees, they have a limited movement. The tops of the legs is connected to the lower torso through the use of 10 mil ball joints. And I'm unsure if it's here or in combination with its lack of midriff rigidity that causes stability problems when putting Barbatos in these more dynamic poses. The skeletal looking midriff of the original robot design was probably always going to present these real world interpretation issues. From the midriff upwards, articulation is mostly achieved through the use of standard 6mm ball joints for the neck, shoulders, elbows and wrists. The fingers and lower torso trim pieces simply use clip and bar connectors. And it's not too loosey-goosey at all. I'll be back in a moment with Barbatos here in a different pose to briefly talk of brick quality and cost. The quality of the brick pieces from Wee Brick is easily 4 out of 5 for me, perhaps even 4.5 out of 5 as there are hardly any scratches on the smooth surfaces of pieces. Perhaps white hides scratches easier. Pieces are a hair width smaller leading to more gaps between connected pieces like here. And now to the cost. If I had used actual Lego pieces to build this Barbatos mock, it would have cost me around $200 from what I saw on Rebrickable, which searches Brick Owl and Bricklink stores. Having the majority of pieces sourced from WeBrick and getting the remaining pieces from Brick Owl came to around $50.
$200 for LEGO pieces versus $50 for LEGO compatible pieces. I'll leave you to reflect on this while I flip the camera back now. When someone says they have built a Gundam, the first thing that comes to my mind is that they have built a plastic model kit and not a mock from connecting bricks. It continues to astound and amaze me just what creative people like Ransom Fern can make with brick pieces. Browsing places like Rebrickable no longer needs to be a bittersweet affair of seeing all the mocks I'd like to build and then seeing the relatively high cost of buying the Lego pieces for them. With places like Webrick, there's another option for getting the bricks at a much lower price, which might make your dream build come true. As always, thank you for watching this video. I've really enjoyed bringing it to you. See you in the next one. Bye for now. For this barber toast, barber toast. The name is barber toast. It rhymes with comatose. The tops of the legs connect to the upper torso using upper torso, lower torso. Ah. Wah, 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 wah. Let's try it again. Used actual Lego pieces to build this Barbato, ah, Barba, it's Barbatos. Sorry, Barta, Barbatos, Barbatos, not Barbatos. What's going on, man? Hi, it's Steve here, and welcome back to Mock It Up, your place for reviews of mock and Lego compatible sets. And in this video, we'll be looking at something that isn't actually a set. Hmm.